spend time in prayer with you that Lord we may present ourselves that mighty God we may cry before your presence that Father Holy Spirit we may have a wonderful time speaking to you as our Father in the name that is above all in the name of Jesus Lord we know that you have set this day apart for us you ordained it and you approved it that Father Holy Spirit we may spend this time in your presence in the name that is above all name, the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. Holy Spirit, we are so grateful of your presence. Holy Spirit, we are so grateful of your guidance. We want to thank and appreciate you for this privilege and the platform that you have given to us. We know that you're going to interpret our prayers. We know that you're going to present them before the Lord. We know, Holy Spirit, that you're going to play your part. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. We pray, Father Holy Spirit, not because we are in need. We pray, Father Holy Ghost, as an act of worship to you, as an expression of our love for you, of how much, Heavenly Father, we appreciate you. That, Lord, we have a privilege of talking to you as our Father. In the name that is above all, in the name of Jesus. Lord, not to say we are in want as we come before you, not because, Heavenly Father, we are in need as we come before you. Lord, we come before you as an act of worship. Oh, we express our love for you. Heavenly Father, we want to declare the praises unto you. We want to speak of your goodness and your love. We want to draw from you, mighty God. We want to learn from you, power of the Holy Spirit. We want to do our prayers by your guidance. Heavenly Father, we want to be filled with the presence of the Holy Ghost. And Lord, we want to be refreshed as we come before you. Because you said in your word, the times of refreshing are in the presence of the Lord. That is why, mighty God, we have spent this time. That is why, God, we have separated ourselves. That's why, God, we are giving ourselves into this hour that we're going to spend our time with our Father. In the name that is above all name, the name of Jesus. Lord, we know that we will gain so much wisdom from you. Heavenly Father will be anointed more and more. Revelation upon revelation will come. Because Heavenly Father, we've been in the presence of our God. Lord, we'll be full with power of the Holy Ghost. We'll continue to perform miracles. Heavenly Father, there will be so much of your presence that people will be delivered and healed. Heavenly Father, there will be so much of your presence that we will feel a prophetic word. Heavenly Father, there will be so much of your presence that Lord will be renewed, revived and refreshed. Father Holy Spirit, we pray in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, we want to call upon the name of Jesus because we were taught and we were told that Heavenly Father, when he's exalted, he will draw people unto himself. In the name that is above all name, the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. There's no any other name that we want to call in the hour of this evening. 
There's no any other name, God, that we want to have an auction with, Lord. There's no any other name, Heavenly Father, that we want to spend time in. There's no any other name, Paul, God, the Spirit, that will connect us with you except the name of Jesus. We have come here, Holy Ghost, because we know that it is true, the blood of Jesus Christ, that we are made who we are. It is true, God, the name of Jesus. And as we call upon that name and the sound of that name, demon trembles. Hell has been confused. Hell, Heavenly Father, loses his mind. Hell, Heavenly Father, we destructive in the plans of the enemy. About the power of prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Master of the Universe, for giving us this time and this opportunity to spend it in your presence, Lord. In the name that is above the name, the name of Jesus. Remember, Lord, you have taught us in your word that we must pray, God, with all manner of prayers. We must pray, mighty God, even in the spirit, in the name of Jesus. That is why we are here, your church, your people. That is why we are here, mighty God, Heavenly Father, to cry, to present ourselves. Oh, Lord, to tell you how wonderful you are. In the name of Jesus. Also, God, we want to thank you and appreciate you that you made this day possible for us. We went to work and we came back, Lord. Children went to school and they came back, Lord. Some of us who have experienced blessings of many kind. Lord, it has been a, such a, a deluge. It has been a free way. Heavenly Father, flow in your presence. In the name of Jesus. Oh, glory. We bless every mother for you, our Father, Holy Spirit. Oh God, this evening we say receive the glory. Oh, receive the honor, kingship, majesty, and power, and all authority belongs to you. We want to say it in boldness that besides you, there's no any other God. There's no God. There's no God who's loving as you. There's no God who's kind as you are. There's no God who got such a heavenly Father, good plan for us as you. There's no God who blesses us as you. There's no God, by the Holy Spirit, that when we call upon this name, he comes and tabernacle with us. That when we pray and ask that he gives, in the name of Jesus, there's no any other God. Only you, Master of the Universe. Only you, the Great I Am. The Lily of the Valley, the Bright and Morning Star. The Lion of Judah, the God of the Consuming Fire. The same yesterday, today and forever. The God who is, the God who was and the God who is to come. That is why we call upon your name. We say you are El Shaddai. You are more than enough, oh God. More than enough in our abilities. More than enough in our weaknesses. More than enough in our doubts. More than enough in our procrastinations. More than enough, Heavenly Father. In every situation, oh God. In every circumstance. Even when we doubt that, Lord, we cannot make it. El Shaddai, you are there. Oh, Jireh, Jireh. What a provision, what a provider. You provided for us, you give us good health. You gave us food, clothes to wear. Petrol, God, businesses us are doing it because you are Jairo of our lives. That is why we call upon you, Lord. Houses that we live in, oh Lord. Walls that you fight for us because you provide as our God in the name of Jesus. Oh Rafa, Rafa of our lives. We are hard pressed on every side, but we are not Christ because those rough. Lord, we are forever healed. There's a miracle that is taking place upon us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We call upon your name because you are God in heaven, Lord. 
Remember you said through the mouth of your servant Jeremiah, we should call upon you. You should call upon you. We should call upon you. You will show us things, Lord. You will show us things, God. You will show us things, God. Show us things that even our minds cannot comprehend, oh God. We call upon you, my Holy Spirit. That is why we call upon you during the hour of this evening, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Oh glory, Mandro Goser la Gadar la Hasaya. Mer lo dor la Kamambre Bobrosir lo dur la Harkas Karka Mandeleme. Ribidi Biriana la Mandere Lebezeb la Habra Kaskir Fasondo lo Noya. Membre Bebra Kaskal Kototo lo Nosil Liatara. You pave a way in the wilderness, oh God. You feed us, Lord, even when we are in the wilderness. Heavenly Father, you still continue to provide. You still perform, you still continue to perform miracle. Even when there is no light, oh God. When Heavenly Father, we don't see. Where the Lord, we, don't see. we can't remember where the front or not the back is, Lord. But Lord, you are still the Lion of Judah. The consuming fire. Lord, you still the light of the world. The light of the world. We thank you, Paul, Holy Spirit. We thank you, mighty Jesus. More logo da ke seke manga ta kadale dera. Ver la komo shindi li no bara hasalta. Ke bara hasa kamanda le mendere le besiki li di dosa. In the name that is above our name, we pray, Lord. We pray because you are faithful. We pray because you are the only God who deserves to be worshipped tonight. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Salabataya. Get my dog on the road. Come 
worship the Lord tonight. Come on, church, worship the Lord tonight. Worship the Lord. Come on, worship the Lord. Speak. Speak to your God tonight. Speak to Him. Speak to God. Speak to the Lord. Speak to the Lord. Speak to the Lord. Speak to the Lord, Lord, church. Express your love for Him. Come on, church, express your love for Him. Oh, you have a hundred in the days of the hardness. Gebramana Black Rosol like a second. Receive the praise, mighty God. Receive all the glory. Receive the honor, kingship, majesty, and power. And all authority belongs to you. You alone are God. You alone are God. Who deserves to be worshipped in the beauty and the splendor of your holiness. Above you there's no any other God. Oh, you are excellent in every way. You are marvelous and wonderful, oh God. We praise the Lord. We praise the Master. Because you are God alone deserves the praise. You God alone deserves the worship. By the Holy Spirit, thank you for being such an awesome God. Thank you for being such an awesome Father. We praise you and we worship you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. We bless every mother for you, our Lord. In the name of Jesus. We know, God, that the times of refreshing are in the presence of the Lord. We know that there is healing in the presence of the Lord. Heavenly Father, there is deliverance in your presence, God. Heavenly Father, there are breakthroughs, mighty God. There are walls that are worn in your presence, oh God. As we call upon your name in the hour of this evening, oh Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for cracking power of the Spirit. The rock that mighty Lord, we have never, the rock that we have hit so hard on, Lord. Thank you for paving a way in the wilderness, mighty Jesus. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Master. You are faithful in every way. My God, my Jesus. Oh, we pray, God, your church, your people. We pray to you, Lord. Heavenly Father, Ebenezer Emmanuel. Heavenly Father, you've been so faithful to us. Lord, you've been so wonderful to us. Lord, you've been so good to us. We love you, Holy Spirit. We love you, mighty God. We love you, Holy Ghost. We love you, Paul, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that you are building your church upon this rock. Continue to build your church, O oh God. Build your church by the Holy Spirit. Build it, mighty God. Build it for yourself, O oh God. Build this church, mighty Lord. Heavenly Father, pour upon this ministry of faith, tabernacle, God. Pour yourself, mighty Lord, that there will be holiness that lives in this house. Heavenly Father, pour yourself in this place, that there will be the truth of your word that will live in this house. Pour yourself in this house, oh God, that there will be a precious anointing of our God. In the name of Jesus, spirit of discernment, the true prophetic word of our God. In Jesus' name, O Lord, 
raise men and women oh God who are going to be the soldiers of the cross who are going to carry through and through oh Lord in Jesus name Lord I bless you Lord hallelujah you are wonderful in every way thank you sweet Jesus heavenly father let the fire burn on this altar let it continue to burn mighty God pray Holy Spirit that this fire shall never be quenched oh God oh Lord let this fire continue mighty God let your fire continue God let it burn on this altar Holy Spirit through your anointing and the revelation of your word Heavenly Father, let your word bring about healing into the lives of your people. Let your word, Heavenly Father, bring about deliverance into the lives of your people. I pray, Holy Ghost, that every man and woman who comes to this house, they must never leave the same, oh God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Jesus, we are the center of our joy. We pray, God, for every move of who you are. In Jesus' name of Nazareth, we pray. And the church of the living God say, Amen. And uh, yeah, man, come on, give God the praise. Hallelujah. Give him a hand, praise church. You can do better than that for your Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. And amen. While well, you may be seated in this presence, greetings, church, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The God that we serve is a precious God, He's a loving God. Amen. Bazalone, it's time and season of prayer where we need to pray continually. Where we need to pray without season. That we may continue to pray for the church of the living God each and every day of our lives. Are you with me, church? We need to pray. And we must never cease to pray. Hallelujah. It is in my heart that we should have people who are going to love the Lord that they're going to run to the house of the Lord. Like David said, I was glad. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Now listen to me, brother. The time of praying for blessings it's over because we are blessed exceedingly and abundantly. I said we are blessed. There's a flow of greater blessings that are upon our lives. We're going to continue to experience blessing from this generation to the next generation. Because we prayed for blessings and God heard us. Amen. Blessings are activated in our lives. They are activated, Pastor Lord. We shall lack nothing. Our children shall lack nothing. We shall not experience any lack in our lives. The enemy will never tempt us about lack in our lives because we are blessed. We are blessed. But we need to go into the house of the Lord to pray for the church. To pray that God should sustain and keep the church strong. 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 And when I say God should keep the church strong, I mean God should maintain you and me. That we may also have many revelations and understanding of why should we continue to, uh, uh, to be a church of the living God. Have that kind of an insight. Jesus Christ in the book of Matthew. Now that we are starting this journey. Let me start here. Now that we are starting the journey to pray at Faith Tabernacle. When we go to prayer, F.A. Tabernacle, we are going to pray for the church. So, kulegeli bandla legan kulungun. I would mean it was a lot. Every time when they say there is prayer, F.A. Tabernacle, 
There is three day fasting and prayer. F.A. Tabernacle. We must know that we are going to pray for the church, but nothing else but the church. And the things that must be evident in the house of the Lord that we have prayed. Number one, there must be forever a presence of God. Wherever you go, not only carry him when you come in here, not only feel him when you come in here, but carry him in your workplace. Carry him as you walk on the mall, right in the mall, as you walk there, Basalon, carry the presence of the Lord. When, when, when you are among many, then, Basalon, you become different among many. Then you are able to be spotted among many. That one. That one. Are you with me, Basalon? You must carry so much of the presence of God in your life that everybody who comes closer to you must be affected by this presence of God upon your life. Affected by it. Infected by that which you carry with you. And these things don't only happen when we sing choruses. But when we, clean, when, when we sing, Bazalwane, we reflect what we carry. Oh God. When, when we sing, when we wash, when we pray, Barcelona, we only produce what we have, what we carry with us. Become the church of the living God. Pray for the anointing. Because the anointing of the Lord is the one that makes a difference. It's not about, Barcelona, the, 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 the affluence of the speech. It's not about how you articulate yourself well. But it's the anointing that makes a difference. The mental that we carry with us. Wherever we go, the anointing of God. Not only, we should feel it here. But the anointing must be felt out of there. People that you come across, they must feel the anointing of the Lord upon your life. Hmm. When God says, wherever your, play, wherever your food shall trample. The place should be given you. Given you in you in which sense, Mazalwane? By you dominating, by your presence being felt because you're anointed. There's an anointing of God, which is God's ability through you. Why it's like Robali Matsatsanyana? Then you tell them now you're Robali. You know, Bazalwane Lapana Echekas, there's this gentleman that I always like. You know? He greets everybody. He's, 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 he loves his job. He's a security man there. He always greets people. He always Barcelona, speaks positively. He always says something wonderful. So one day I come in there. As I come in, no, no, no. No, not you. You don't speak like that. You don't speak like that. Where every time when we come into this door, we hear words that encourages us as we shop around. By the time we live here, our lives are different. And so with you in your workplace, in your business, Barcelona, the anointing of God must affect your business. The anointing of God must affect your colleagues. The anointing of God, you must bring about solutions. Things are there. And they say, how? You said, by the anointing that I carry, I speak things that should be well in your life. And that is going to be done through play. The revelation. The church without the revelation of the word, Barcelona, will just talk stories. Will be dry. Will be dry. Will be just. Be, we will, will, will just become a social club. But when we pray for 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 the revelation of the Holy Spirit, Barcelona, no, I city is will have to but is will use shaba and make a difference. Because you cannot be pressed and not feel the pain. Oh, come on. I said you cannot be pressed and not feel the difference. I forgot man, something came in me. Am I right, Bazalan? Come on. Which will help us accelerate our fellowship with the Lord. Which will help us prioritize our God. When we come to prayer, we're going to pray, Bazalan. As a church of the living God. These are the important things that we should continue to pray for. 
in the house of the Lord. Should continue to pray for. We must never, never cease to pray for the anointing of the Lord. We never, never cease. The fourth one was, they're praying for the word. The word. Easy. Easy. You cannot leave this place, Barcelona, with stories. But leave this place with a substance in your life. Knowing that there's a word of God that you are carrying in your life. There's a word of God that has made a difference in your life. Because everything was created by the word. And nothing, Barcelona, that has been created that was never created by the word. The word of the Lord creates. But it's when we pray as a church. When we pray that we must hear the word. Oh, come on. Eh? Pray that we must hear the way. The, the, Barcelona, the more we pray, this prayer must affect even our children's church. That they will speak nothing else but the word of God. That they will carry nothing else but the presence of the Lord. That they will feel nothing but the anointing of the Lord. As every time when we pray, Barcelona, this thing must make a difference. I mean, hear what the centurion says to, to Jesus. He says, I'm a man of authority. I carry a certain mantle upon my life. I say to that one, come, he comes. When I say go, he goes. And if I carry that kind of a mantle, what more about you, Jesus? What more about you? There's no need for you to come into my house, but I know that if you can send the word, if you can speak that word, Jesus Christ, it's because of the anointing that we have, because of the revelation that you have, because who you are, Jesus. Jesus Christ turns around, he forgets about this man. He says, I've never seen kind of faith in Israel. I've never seen this kind of faith. The Bible says, the just shall live by faith. We shall never cease, Barcelona, to trust God. We shall never cease to hope in God. We shall never cease, Barcelona, to hold on to God. To hold on to his word. Believe God his word. Trust God for his word. Because if this, this is what makes the church. This is what makes the church. This is what makes the church. Are you here? So the Bible says in Matthew chapter 7 verse, uh, verse 7. Jesus Christ says uh, we must keep on praying. Keep on praying. Keep on praying. In fact it starts by saying we must keep on asking. And it will be given to you. Keep on seeking. And you will find. Keep on knocking reverently. And the door will be opened for you. In other words, we keep on praying. Keep on praying. Let's keep on praying. And let us not cease to pray. Let's keep on asking for this anointing. Let it keep on pouring this anointing upon us. Let's keep on praying for this revelation. Let us keep on praying for his presence. And they call it in goes, I mean, listen to what Moses is saying. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. Moses, saying this kind of words to God, speaking to God like this way, after, after God used him so mightily, mightily in Egypt, performing miracles, Taking his rod and put it on the ground and he turned into the snake. And God said, hold it by its tail. He holds it by its tail and it becomes his rod again. Eh? That miracle enough is enough. That miracle alone is enough for me to be puffed up. Oh, you don't get that. That miracle alone is enough for me to be puffed up. But there are quite a many miracles that God showed him. That he performed through him. And here comes Moses He says... Unless you come with us. Unless you come with us. Unless, hey, Ma Moses, didn't you see that this man is already here? Didn't you see that this man is already with you? Didn't you, so don't you see Moses? Don't you see Moses? But Moses says, I can't have enough of you. Can't have enough of you. If, if, if I have to perform miracles, I still need more of miracles. And I cannot do them without your presence. I cannot do them without your presence. And it is only through prayer. When the church of the living God prays. Tenders. 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 Your life changes one day at a time. Your life changes. No, no, no. Asabi normal. 
Moses says, unless you come with us, unless you come with us, we're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere. What a humbling statement. So we cannot have enough of God in this house. We cannot have enough of his anointing. We cannot have enough of his revelation. We cannot even have enough of, enough of his presence. We cannot have enough of his word. We cannot have enough of God. We need him more and more. Each and every day of our lives and we come here on Monday, Bazalwan. Thanking him for being such a precious God. Thanking him for the strength, the wisdom that is going to give us through for, for the week. And we should not forget to tell him, God, we need more of you each and every day of our lives. We need more of God. Need more of God. Keep on praying. Keep on praying. The book of Ephesians it says, Ephesians 6 18 says, pray at all times. At all times. It's not praying when we come gather together here, but we are going to pray when at all times. Eh? I don't know when is your prayer time. I don't know when do you get your time to pray. If somebody is, is graced by waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning to pray, no, never ever think that's your grace too. No, you don't hear that. I said, don't ever, ever think that is your grace too. There are those who can pray from five until six. Most probably you can pray from 12 until one. Midday. Some they can pray from 12 until three in them. Some they can pray until three, three until four. But at least pray at all times. It's so beautiful to start the day with God. And it's beautiful to end the day with God. It's beautiful. Start a day with him and end a day with him. Pray at all times. Thessalonians he says, pray continually. You know, it is Tandazo Pes. Tandazo in the Jan Basalone. Prayer shouldn't shouldn't be only when Pastor Glenn calls us. Shouldn't it only be about when Pastor Glenn calls us to pray. You know, there's this song that we sing many years ago. So every time when we come to this place, God says, I'm going to give you all the day. But I'm just going to want ask you one hour, half past six to half past seven, come and pray. I would mean it was a man. Now, we're going to be praying for the unity in the church. So, unity in the church of the living God. And unity in the house of the Lord should start with us first. Yeah. United we stand, divided we fall. Unity. We must be united. We must be one. Like Jesus Christ says to his father, Father, I pray that me and you should be one. Let them be one as you and I are one. And, and, and listen to what he says. The reason he says, why me and you are one? He says, what I say, I heard my father say. What I see, I've seen my father say. Everything that I do, I've seen my father do. So, so I'm doing exactly, I'm a replica of what my father is. And that comes when we are one here at Faith Tabernacle. Speaking one voice, speaking, uh, being one voice, one mind, one beat. Everything that we do, we do it together. When we call prayer, we come like it's Sunday, Sunday morning. Come like it's Sunday morning. Pray that miracles should happen even in this day, Barcelona. Even today, people come here and live here not being the same. They the 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 the, 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 the sick being delivered. Are you with me, Barcelona? All those who come across Barcelona who've got all kinds of things come here and be delivered. If unkulunkulak pasu ukchinche lendo ata Barcelona. Net ngom tandas. Chinche. Ngom tandas. Ngom tandas on jekpel. Oh, come on, church. Pray for the unity in the house of the Lord. We're going to pray for the unity. Are you with me, Bazalan? Hmm. So, so, so we should pray that God will be glorified in all things and in and, 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 and the name of God. God should be glorified in all things. 
and that the name of Christ should be exalted. Should not exalt faith tabernacle. Faith tabernacle without God is nothing. Faith tabernacle without Jesus is nothing. Faith tabernacle without salvation is nothing. I said faith tabernacle without the power of God is nothing. Faith tabernacle without the cross is nothing. It is just a bunch of people who come together to sing and have a good time. But the name of Jesus Christ should be exalted. Every time when we come here, Jesus Christ should be exalted. And how should he be exalted, Barcelona? Umona apiwena farangimbone la pagi mi eshanza yamintlizi. Miracles should be performed through us and miracles should be performed by us. People should look at us and glorify God. People should look at us and praise Jesus. People should look at us and say, I want this Jesus that lives in your life. When we exalt the name of Jesus Christ, there will never be any competition among us. When we exalt the name of Jesus Christ, there won't be any strife among us. Because we understand that this has nothing to do with us, but it has to do with the Lord Jesus Christ. People are saved. Miracles are being performed. The church is growing. The building is expanding. Everything, how should that be done when we exalt the name of Jesus? And you must know that your apostle who is called Glenn Macam is nothing without the Jesus that lives in him. Without the Jesus that is called him. As we take this journey to pray. As we take this journey to pray. Nothing else that must be prayed for. Number one must pray for the unity in the church. We must be one, Bazalwan. We must be one. We must be one. Pale, pale, pale everything about your sensitivity and all other stuff because the power of the Lord is upon us and we understand that whatever we do and whatever way we are but so long, it has nothing to do with us but by the name of the Lord in this world you will face many many kinds of trouble we will be troubled by your brethren you will be troubled by the devil you will be troubled by your family you will be troubled by your colleagues you will be troubled everywhere church even those who speak in tongues but no chap Jesus Christ says chap 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 be like David and encourage yourself in the Lord it has nothing to do with the people there, but it has to do with my God. But that does not necessarily mean that when we have wronged each other, we cannot settle it. Settle it. Hmm. Pray for more of his glory and honor. Pray for more of the glory of God and his honor. So as faith tabernacle, nothing else must be prayed for except the glory, God's glory and his honor. Are you with me, Brother Ryan? pray for us to understand his ways. God, we want to understand your ways. But your ways, God. Your ways, God. I would remember that. Amen. I paraffin is vuta ngende li vuta ngakon. Ne petrol. Petrol ne paraffin as vuta ngokfan. Ne salfa ay vuta ngokfan ne petrol ne paraffin. So there's a paraffin church there. There's a petrol church there. There's a sulfur church there. But yeah, there's a church of Jesus Christ. And we want that fire back. And it's going to happen through prayer when we all gather together. Even when you feel, church, that this couch wants to arrest you and keep you from not going to pray and think about just for the sake of Jesus and his church, I am going there. I'm going there. I'm going there. God, I want your ways. Funezakis in Tel. I am in Tel. Hmm. Salundi Fundi so good. My ense in Tando Yako. Couldn't I be yet in Tando? Shouldn't be on our own will, but the will of the Lord. Every time when we come to faith, Tabernacle, you must know that I'm going to pray before the Lord that God show us your ways. Can we understand your ways? Because this is what the church of God should be all about. Yeah. 
May we make a difference as faith tabernacle in the world. Hmm? For your glory and purpose. Make we make, can we make a difference? As faith tabernacle. Are we going to pray? It's all that only going to happen when we pray. For this. Not standards are pale. Not standards. The word of God fires you. It's like the word of God pumps you. It's like the word of God assures you. Like the word of God builds you like a strong tower. Like the word of God strengthens you each and every day of your life. Because every time when you knock the door and it's a little bit heavy, then you remember that I prayed. And the word of God says, nothing is impossible with my God. Nothing is impossible. And it will be through prayer. Pray that God's spirit and power will fill the church. Mm, the God's spirit, you know, na nastabele lala, na nastabele lanje. Yeah, na nastabele. It shouldn't be about our skill. It shouldn't be about our voice. In Ghana, in Ghana, in Ghana, they say, "Thank you for your skill. Thank you. We just want your presence, so that the anointing of God will make a difference." When we, when we, when when we sing, when we call upon His name, God's spirit and power. We'll fill the church. We'll fill the church. We'll fill the church. We'll come here with our makeup and go home messed up. Come here orderly but leave home messed up. Yeah, come here Bazalwane discouraged and live here encouraged. Come here Bazalwane walking slow and, and by the time we leave this place, we are fired up in every way. Only that will happen when we pray and then we will build the church of God. Mm. I realize that in faith of an uncle, there's no useless brick. You don't get that? In faith of an uncle, there's no useless brick. Every brick in this church is too expensive. Every brick in this church is very expensive. Every brick is in this church is valuable. Oh, every brick in this church builds a wall. Every brick in this church holds the wall. Every brick in this church makes the wall stronger and stronger. There's no useless brick in this church. Some of us will be patient for other bricks. We'll keep on cleaning them and keep on polishing them. Because we know that one day, something great is about to happen about them. Fill, fill, fill. God, can you fill this house? Fill this house. Fill it, fill it, fill it with more of you. There's nothing else that we want, Basil, but the presence of the Lord. That is why I need to run, run, come to him for intercession. When you come for intercession, it's very important, Bazalwan. There's thunder. There's a presence of God. God comes and fills the place. Look on Bazalwan. By the time we start one keyboard, one key, the Holy Spirit takes over. Mm. I used to say I'm looking forward one day to see the Holy Spirit play the keyboard by itself. I'm looking forward one day where we touch this mic and our voices. Basil one day sounds like angels. Angel, the choir comes and join us. And because our offering before the Lord, it is holy and unacceptable. And that, Basil one, it will only happen when we pray. When we pray. Vision will be implemented. When we pray, when we pray, I said, when we pray, I said, when we pray, vision will be implemented. But when we do what Bazarone, when we pray, and when the presence of the Lord is here, when we are united, when we are one, kept together as one. Mm. 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 Phil, we're going to pray finally. I'm going to pray that the body of Christ will be faithful and show love to a hating world in the name of Jesus. We're going to pray. As a church, where did you pray? We must be the one that reflects love. There's a song that we used to sing. I'm going to sing it again. You're my brother, you're my sister, so take me by your hand. Hope together we will win until he, we will stand until he comes. There's no fool that can divide us when we're standing side by side. For where there is love, we will stand. You're my brother, you're my sister. 
So take me by your hand Together we will work Until he comes There's no foe that can defeat us When we're standing side by side For well then there is love We will stay hey, I want that song again I want that song again because you are my brother you are my sister together we will walk until it comes yeah there's no enemy there's no enemy that can defeat us when we stand side by side and we must be the one that shows love so let, me, let, me, let me share something that some of you will shock you and I'm going to share it on Sunday I'm going to share it I go to everybody in this church to greet outside I go and I greet. Guess what, Pastor? You see, I saw Dr. Mtetelili yesterday. As he was leaving the church, as he was leaving, he started by greeting me. And he was greeting everybody there by the gate. He went to the stop door. He went everybody, everybody. Pastor, I saw him going right into the cars of the people, greeting people, beating them goodbye, appreciating them. And, 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 and I was standing in the Bomakanya, no Makanya. No, 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 standing with them. He doesn't even know them, you know. And, and, and I thought he was coming to me. He says, No, I'm coming to greet. And he came and he greeted them, he appreciated them, all of them. And from there, he went to his car. And I'm like, What? And I've been watching him as he was coming all the way, greeting everybody here, greeting our sister, our sister, but I was watching him, watching, greeting everybody there because you are my brother, you are my sister. We are the one that must show that love to everybody. We must be the one that shows people that they are more welcome into this house. We must be the one church to make people that church is a good place to be. Church is a good place to be. And we're going to do that when we pray. By the time we come into this house, when we're going to pour ourselves before the Lord, and when we're going to cry before the Lord, and ask God to be a blessing upon us. Look, Bezalwan, look, you are blessed beyond measure. You are untouchable in every way. Some of you, we haven't touched your blessings. Some of you, you have touched by what you have, tickling your hands, by showing you great and mighty things are gonna come your way. Am I talking to some people here? And I'm encouraging this church that please, when they say Monday prayer, please, Bazalwan, it doesn't matter. No, 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 say Pito retrieve a 200 just for prayer. Just for prayer. I wanna be in prayer. Meeting with Luke, my brother, I understand your meeting on Monday, half past six, but I cannot meet it. Jim, I will see you from Tuesday. But Monday, half past six, I can't miss that. Can't miss that. Opportunity for me to go before my God. Take this message to everybody, to your brother, to your sister. And tell them, it's time for us to pray. As God built this church, it's time to pray. May the wonderful God bless you. Amen and amen. Tell your neighbor, we are going to pray from now onwards. Come on. Come on, say it. Tell your neighbor, we are going to pray from now onwards. Come on, we are going to pray from now onwards. The church of God is about prayer. Come on, tell him. Tell, come on, talk to your neighbor. It's about prayer. The church of God is about prayer. The church of God is about prayer. Hallelujah. Can I receive a thanksgiving offering? Can I receive a one offering? Hallelujah. We're going to Ghana this year. We're going to Ghana. I'm just quickly waiting for the dates. As soon as I get the dates. Hello, ma'am. As soon as I get the dates, we, we're going to go in there. We're going to learn a lot.